Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to build this Orville spaceship project file. So first we have to go get the stuff that we're going to need. And we are going to find this at sketchfab.com. And if you go to here and then you look around, you can see there's a lot of neat little models and things like that. If I search for the Orville, okay, in the search bar, you can find it pretty quickly. If I go ahead and narrow it down to those that are downloadable, right, you see there's a shuttle here and this one. This is the one that I actually found and I loaded it up. I looked at it. Let's take a look here. And you can see that's a pretty cool looking model, really. I mean, that's that is sweet. Look at the detail on this, right? Uh, and you can see the engines in the back and all this kind of stuff. And I said, man, I'm gonna download this. This is definitely the one that I want. Uh, it is by Lewis 2E, and as you can tell, I follow him now uh, because he does have a lot of cool stuff. So I hit this download button and. I downloaded here onto my uh, solid state hard drive, my working hard drive, okay? If I go ahead and I open it up, I can just grab these files and copy them and then go ahead and just paste them out here so that I can take a look, okay? If you actually start to delve through here a little bit, the first thing that you're going to find is that there are no files uh, that are available for use in the um, actual or in HitFilm, okay? Because HitFilm uh, uses certain types of them, and this one comes with a DAE model, right? Well, DAE doesn't work in HitFilm, so here is what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm going to bring up Blender, okay? And in Blender, I'm gonna say File, Import, and I'm gonna find or use Imported DAE File. Then I go to the folder where it's at and I double click on it. And, oh, it's not there. Well, first of all, there's a block here, so let, I'm gonna hit Delete key and I'm just gonna get rid of that block. Where is it? I don't see it, it's not here. What's the deal? Well, actually, it's very, very tiny. Check this out. If I zoom in on this, oh, there he is, right? And he is a little bitty guy. So I'm going to zoom back out, and I'm going to just hit the S key. S stands for scale, and if I start dragging my mouse to the right, then you'll see that it scales up. And we can go about there, maybe that big. Oh, well, maybe a little bit bigger. Scale, whoa, not that big. Uh, let's go about like that. Okay, so now that I have this model, all I'm going to do now is say File export the model and I'm just going to export it as a 3ds file and I'm just going to call it Orville all right and export as we go and there you go so now we can bring up hitfilm in hitfilm I can go ahead and say import a 3d model after finding the folder that it's in, I can go ahead and just double click it and bring it up. And that's the one that I was playing with, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just actually call this Orville. And you can see that it's one big mesh and that's it. I'm gonna go to the materials, open up the materials and look at the diffuse map first. Bringing up the folder where it's at, if I go ahead and look at the textures, you can see I have this material albedo. Uh, the AO, the emissive, the metallic, the roughness, and then the normals. And we're going to go, I think, with, I'm just looking at these and I say, well, this one seems to be the one. So I double click on it and poof, yes, it is. Okay, you can see how the engines match, right? Everything is good. But you go, it doesn't look quite right. Well, first, let's go ahead and take the diffuse color down. You never want that, I don't think, to be white. You want it to be something, you know, a little grayer there just to really you know bring out the, the the color of the ship okay then we're gonna add the normal map also so if I open it up we find the normal and oh that really looks good doesn't it wow yes it really does and to be honest with you that's pretty much all I think I want to do 
Um, I did mess around with trying to work some of those other things into the specular and the bump map and stuff, but you know what? None of them really worked well. I will go ahead and flip this over to Cook Torrance. And if you're using a reflection off of this, then you may want to make that into planner. Uh, for what we're doing, it's not going to matter, but there you go. So now I have my spaceship. I bring it on in. Let's go ahead and make a new composite shot. Click OK. We're going to bring the Orville in here. OK, but we're not going to make it 3D. Instead, we're going to create a new point and we're going to make the point 3D. It's going to want to add a camera. We say yes. All right. And then if you open up the Orville model, Orville transform from the new point. And we're going to rename this new point the Orville control point. OK. And so now if you were to move around the Orville control point like this, then the ship will move around also. I'm going to go ahead and light this. So I'm going to add a new light. Okay. And I'm just going to take that light and put it in one corner very far away, say 100,000. Okay. And then I'm just going to duplicate it. And then I'm just going to make them negative 100,000. So we have a light way on one side and a light way on the other. And uh, let's go ahead and put these down underneath everything. Boom, like that. Okay, so now if I move the Orville around, you can see, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let me bring the camera in a little closer too. I just want to be able to see, you know, see the ship very, very well. Okay, so now we have the basic ship. What we want to do is we want to start looking at adding the lights next so what i'm going to do is import a 3d model and it's going to be the orville again okay and here he is right but this time we're going to call this lights okay and under materials we're going to take a look at this emissive cat one here i think this one is the one that we want and look it really does look like the lights okay now, the thing is, is that I can go ahead and up the diffuse reflectivity to kind of get that light to shine a little brighter, but you definitely don't want to do any of the rest of them, okay? You want them to be completely black, okay? And in fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and make the ambient color and the specular color completely black also. That way, that the, only the light will show up and nothing else, okay? So I'll bring that in, and now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the lights and I'm going to put it above the model, the Orville model. Oh, and there it is. Now if I open it up, and again, I transform from the, uh, the Orville control point, then when I go ahead and move that around, you can see that I'm moving the lights around too. And you say, but wait a minute, the problem is is that you can't see the Orville, that's right. But you can see how the lights occlude, like the, the, the engine lights go away when you bring it around. It looks like it's kind of at night, right? Because I have left this as a two-dimensional model, guess what that means? I can add effects to it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to search for the demult effect, which essentially keys out black, okay? And I'm just going to key out the black part of the lights. And so now... I can, it, 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 it gives the appearance that those lights are actually lit. And that's, that's pretty neat, right? If I go ahead and under the controls, uh, the, the tra world transform, I can change the um, opacity and you can see that the lights are actually working there. Now, if I wanna add a little bit more, maybe for example, I wanna add a glow effect to those lights, I, I certainly can, right? And if I just make a little bit of some adjusting here, um, you know, we can take this down, maybe brighten it up. Ooh, you know what? I may have a problem in the in the backside here of the, the engines might be a little bit bright. Now you'll notice that there's this here. What is that? Well, that's because um, this particular model the lights model is still being influenced by the lights in the scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to tick off illuminated. So now they are just uh, there and they're not affected by the lights in the scene like the rest of the model is. Okay. And you would want to play around with that glow and stuff like that. Okay. Now let's talk about 
the engines only, the engines only. How can I just light up the engines only? Because right now, if I mess around with the opacity here, I can turn on and off the engines, but I'm also turning on and off all the rest of the lights. I don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we want to isolate the engines themselves, okay? So if I go back to this and I find the textures and I find that emissive texture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in, okay? And then I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to right click on it and say, make it into its own composite shot. Click OK. And there it is. Well, look at this a little carefully. You can see, you know, that these are probably the lights around the front of it, right? These are the lights on the sides, right? These are clearly the engine lights up here. Are they not? I'm sure they are. This is one. This is the other. This is the middle one, maybe. Okay. I'm sure that these are the engine lights. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this first. I'm going to make, or I'm going to grab my masking tool, my freehand masking tool. And I am just going to mask out just the engines here right and nothing else i don't want anything else to be in this mask okay and scale to fit so now only the engines are now visible here okay if i add a new layer i mean a new plane make it black and i put it below now we have a completely black frame that only shows the engines. And if I say options, export the frame. And I'm just going to throw it in here with the other textures. And I'm going to call this engines. Okay. And say save. All right. Now, in theory, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and invert this mask and make it and then make another one for the for the other things that aren't the engine. But I'm not going to worry about that, okay? Although you could, in theory, do that. Now, I'm going to go import a 3D model again, the Orville. But this time, I'm going to, for the diffuse map, I'm going to use my new engines PNG. And it's own. look at that, it's only the engines now. Right. And I, I guessed that right, didn't I? OK, um, so now we're going to we're going to make everything black there. We're going to go ahead and up this, but we're going to call this engines. OK, and click OK. And now I can put the engines. Oh, wait, before I do that, Orville control point, let's zero that out first. OK, now I'm going to take the engines. And I am going to put them above the lights. Yep. Okay. Now, opening that up, of course, I want to um, transform from the point, right? The Orville control point. And under material, I do want to tick off illuminated again. That's going to be very important. Okay. And just like I did before, I want to go ahead and throw a demult key on it so that only the engines are showing up, but nothing else, okay? And they are above the lights. So the good news is, is that just makes it look like the engines are on there, okay? But you can turn them off too, okay? Now here's going to be the thing, right? Is that we're gonna add a few effects to that, but they could be different effects. I might wanna add a glow effect, that would be fine, right? Glow effect is not a problem. But also a gleam effect. Put a gleam effect on those engines, and you're really going to have some pretty cool looking, uh, you know, engine lights there, right? That are that are involved, and that that is that's pretty darn cool. Okay, and that's pretty much it. This is what you're looking at. Okay, as far as um, adding the the making the model first and then adding the um lights second and then putting uh you know some uh, oh you know what actually i don't want to do that i want to go maybe a little more oh yeah okay uh adding uh 
adding the engine lights on third. You have it all controlled by the control point, and the bottom line is, uh, boy, that just looks really slick. You can all you can absolutely control the engine, um, you know, amounts how much those engines are on or off by simply uh, key framing in the opacity of those things. You see, so we can light the engine and there you go so pretty much in a nutshell that's how you do it okay if you like this video feel free to uh like it subscribe to the channel and we'll keep bringing stuff to you and hey thanks for watching